next comedian, John Rizzo, is a whip thin wonder lad from Bridgeport CT with an elastic face and a matching repertoire. His animated style has made him an opening act for such comics as Jay Leno, Dennis Miller, and Richard Belzer. Please welcome John Rizzo. Take a good look, get it out of your system. <laughs> I, get, uh, I get uglier as the night goes on. So drink up, girls. <laughs> Beauty isn't everything. Yeah, right. Have you noticed that you never see a picture of the man who invented that saying? Beauty isn't everything. No, not for you, Quasimodo. But the rest of us like sex. Who is he to talk for me? Me, look at me. I'll jump on the breeze in the summer. Oh. <laughs> Windy out, huh? Yeah, I'm going storm chasing. Be oh. Oh. Beauty isn't everything. I love that. I can live by that model, but my face cannot tolerate it anymore. <laughs> See, this face, it even works with the police. Know why I pulled you over? Huh? car <laughs> he has to go back to his car and think about that stuff <laughs> 10 4 did I pull this guy over <laughs> he's got me on a technicality <laughs> you know it's all it's all in your, in, your, in your perspective, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be put up on a pedestrian. I'm not better than the average person. I'm Italian and I'm Irish. Yeah, I get drunk, I break my own legs. I cut out the middle man. What do I need him for? You know how, you know how you could tell you're in a real Italian house? Take a look in the garbage can. You know, besides the subpoenas on the refrigerator. There's another way to judge, you know. Look in the garbage can. If you see any food in that garbage can, you are not in an Italian house. All right. You, you can't throw food out in an Italian house. You gotta get by grandma. Grandma, the warden of the kitchen. Grandma, this don't look good. Should I throw it out? Oh my God, no. I don't know why I'm laughing. I heard this stuff already. <laughs> Gra 
Emma, this, this don't look good. Should I throw it out? No, no, Johnny, give me bunny guy. <laughs> Put it in the sauce. <laughs> Everything's in that sauce. <laughs> they never shut the sauce off. It's on all the time. 24-7, the burners are cooking. So much garlic in that house, vampires are flying around it. Don't go over there, I feel anemic. Anemic vampire. <laughs> I can fax this stuff to you if I lose you. He's <laughs> looking at me like a tax collector. <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, the point I'm trying to make, I'm Irish as well, that gives me two tempers at once. I'm so pissed off, I don't even know what the hell I'm mad at. <laughs> I'm mad all the time. Have you noticed that there are no Irish cooking shows on television? <laughs> and, uh, don't get ahead of me. <laughs> this is not an oversight. <laughs> or a conflict with scheduling. The Irish can't cook. <laughs> the Irish will take a perfectly good piece of beef. They will boil every molecule of flavor that this animal ever had a chance to experience in an open pasture. They'll stab it with a fork, throw it on a dish with a potato. <laughs> potato, nice choice. Good, dry, starchy vegetable to go with this Epicurean delight. <laughs> I guess the cabbage is to help you push this stuff out of your body. as fast as humanly possible. <laughs> now, it's scary because it comes out of your body like a missile. <laughs> that ain't right, that ain't right. <laughs> Sucks the air right out of your mouth. No warning or no. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just pass a catcher's mitt? What the hell? Can I... <laughs> then, then they want to know if you want more. <laughs> oh yeah, McGillicuddy. <laughs> I want to get my trachea knotted up my sphincter muscle. <laughs> yeah, load the plate up. I want to just, you know, coalesce right at the dish here. <laughs> coalesce, big word. I don't even know what it means. I drove here tonight, I took Route 8. What a piece of architectural splendor that is. <laughs> Ooh. Who? Who built that road? Satan? <laughs> hey, my favorite sign on Route 8, slow men working. You ever see that guy? <laughs> That's my brother. <laughs> if you see him, send him home. <laughs> he doesn't even work there. 
my brother's a taxidermist. You know what that is? Taxidermist, Sparky? Taxidermist, you know, he, he mounts animals. Well, that's how I met my sister-in-law. She got hit with the ugly stick. I think it was an oak tree. Some kind of wood that doesn't give. You could put her face in dough and make monster cookies. She has to trick or treat over the phone. Boo, what the hell was that? I got a murmur. What I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to make is this. This is what I'm trying to say here. Don't drink and drive. Pull over, finish. You need both hands on the wheel. No, don't drink and drive. Get a denigrated driver. All right, Santa? Anyway, look at that guy. Where's the elves? Anyway. Holy cow, twin Quakers. Anyway. <laughs> Where'd you guys park the horse? Anyway. Make yourself at home, make some butter out in the lobby. Anyway, this is what I want to say. The point I'm trying to make is this. Beat your kids. Hit these kids, because that timeout stuff is not working. Timeout, my parents practiced timeout. Yeah, the, the time that I was out. After my father knocked me out? How long was I out? Did I miss any holidays? My father hit me so many times I thought I was fighting an octopus. Right, our generation, we got hit. Am I right, Spark? Oh, you took a beating, look at you. Sure, whatever you did, you didn't do it again, did you? Right? Because you couldn't remember what the hell you did, that's why. That's right. Yeah, you cannot hit your kid today. You can't, you know why? They'll threaten you. Am I right? Don't hit me. I'll call police. Yeah, now with the phone cord around your neck. I'm Johnny Rizzo. You've been great. <laughs>